Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to the channel. Uh, just a quick video about last night's live chat with Mr. Watch and Observer. Uh, great, great uh, evening uh, for the live chat. One of the highlights of the show was the interview or the chat with uh, Mr. Shakespeare, well-known uh, guy in the uh, situation with uh, BBC threats from Capita and people. Uh, it's a great guy to see him and um, was privileged to hear him, what he had to say, and um, was an insight literally to what has happened to him personally. And uh, I'm just recording this for to, to show you basically what a great person he is and uh, what he's done the community and this particular guy uh the watching observer 76 having a chat about how these things happen to him and his knowledge to pass on to other people like myself others chili john people um and it's a guy who's been through the situation with capita trying to stitch him up um i would suggest you have to watch the live the live chat show and get to this part and uh, watch it and you'll, you'll ex it'll explain to you what actually happened. The guy may be coming back making some videos and he may come back again on the channel for chat but it was really, really a great part of the show. A lot of people coming into the show for live chat for the community which this guy's trying to establish and I'm trying to help him with that to, to push it across to people on YouTube and my channel. Um, what the community is all about people ringing up or coming in chatting in the live chat anything they need to know um how to become license free join the community and you know just cancel your license if you don't want to watch bbc that's your right to do that and of course this gentleman here and mr shakespeare have been through all this and they're, they're there to educate you they've educated me just i'm just passing on the word with Mr. Chili John as well, he's the same kind of guy. We're all here to help you. So anybody who sees this, it's for you to understand there's people there to help you. And that's what it's all about, trying to get a community together uh, to represent everybody who doesn't want to pay the license anymore. Or, you know, or doesn't want to watch BBC like myself. I do not watch BBC. And when you see this video, what's happened to this gentleman here, you see how corrupt they are. So I'm going to just pause the video there because there is something else brewing up in the course, the Alex Belfield uh, scenario. So I'm just going to go back to Alex now, Mr. Belfield. This is Alex's channel, The Voice of Reason, very big channel on YouTube. Um, I've just saw one of his latest videos um, saying... Um, about himself, what he's doing late, late, you know, his latest video, and he's just saying, uh, I'm going to let you play, I'm going to play it, and obviously save it for him, that's what he said, basically, to save the video, so I'm going to play the whole episode for you, uh, and put on my channel, and obviously you can make up your own mind, uh, it's on record, then on my channel, for him anyway, that's what he's t saying, so I'm going to uh, play the whole video, um, and see what you think. What we have to worry about is that people want you behind bars for telling the truth and making YouTube videos. After five arrests, after three raids with no warrants and no charge, it seems like the witch hunt has been confirmed this week. But joking aside, there's one thing that you've all been writing to me about from the police, both current serving officers and those who have left, that I beg of you to help me with. I need you to store this video for me because I think there's shenanigans afoot. And I don't want to end up behind bars because of another stitch-up. Saturday afternoon here, live across the world on the number one program for free speech. This is bigger than LBC and Talk Radio put together. It's the voice of reason as I sit here by the door that was smashed in by Nottingham Police or something to do with Nottingham Police on Thursday. There was a 
peculiar band that has given people cause for concern, and I really need your help, because these officers came, nine of them, didn't follow the law, didn't have any evidence. Let me go within five minutes of being interviewed and brought me back after four and a half hours of searching this property. But the question is, what were they doing in here during that four and a half hours? Yes, what is it for? No, could you tell me what you're doing? Okay, well I'm not, are you arresting me? Sorry? Are you arresting me? You are going to be arrested, yes. Okay, and are you raiding the house again? No, no, I, I just like to, are you intending to raid the house again? You're threatening to put my door in, I'm not resisting arrest, I need to speak to my lawyers. I need to speak to my lawyers, I'll come down. I've been blown away by the kindness, by the comments and by the advice given by former officers and current serving officers. I've had thousands of messages and emails and one of the things everybody said is I need to be very careful what is currently in this house. Now, I need you to know I've been raided three times without a warrant and they found nothing. Now, if I'm raided again tomorrow, for example, and they suddenly find 10 billion pounds worth of cocaine or heroin, we've got to wonder what has been going on. Now, I'm not saying they have. So they are, ladies and gentlemen, that's what's happened to Mr. Belfield. A plea for people to save his videos. Um, he doesn't know what's going to happen next, but he looks like he's in a bad state. It's not, not a very nice thing to happen to you. It could happen to anybody, I suppose. But uh, anyway, I put the video. It, it makes this matter, which Mr. Shakespeare went through, which happened a good 10 years ago, I think, in 2004, I think it was, or six, I can't remember exactly when it was, but a good 10 years ago this happened to this gentleman. But now what's happening to uh, Mr. Mr. Belfield, Alex Belfield, is similar tactics to what happened to this gentleman. Uh, they try to stitch him up in court. So it's... Uh, it's uh, hard to take in. You have to sort of watch these things and sort of have a think and think what you think and think is it the BBC or is it a soap opera brewing I don't know it's it's certainly um, intriguing times to sort of 
for anybody who's into the BBC or YouTube, as YouTubers, I mean, uh, I'd be interested to find out what everybody thinks about it. But um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. With uh, I wish it was a great show last night. Of course, this gentleman uh, knows a lot, and and I uh, hope he comes back on YouTube and does a few more things for enlightening people on how to um, become license free. And of course, you've got this channel on Friday night. Uh, Mr. Um, Watching Observer 76, he's going to carry on with this community channel of helping people become license free. So I hope to see you there myself. I'll be there I'm regular on a, on a Friday night. Um, but last night's show was very good and I um, hope you watch, have a look at it. And um, if you want to be license free, uh, it's all there for you um, how to do it. Anyway, I hope you like the video, do the business, subscribe, put some comments down, um, you know, so I can get my message across. I mean, uh, that's what it's all about, trying to pass the word on to everybody else that i free from a license. I do not watch the BBC. And after you see all this, you think, I don't want to be associated with them at all. I don't want to watch anything they produce. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and I'll get back to you on the next one. Bye now.